Good evening. It was a very difficult day for the families who lost their loved ones at Stoneman Douglas High School, and it's not the end of the criminal case. Now a jury must decide if the shooter gets, the li gets life in prison or the death penalty. As you can imagine, a lot of the families expressed very strong opinions on that subject, and one of them is a family we haven't heard from before. They've been quietly grieving the death of their son, Peter, who died a hero that day. Tonight, they spoke exclusively to CBS 4's Frances Wang, and she joins us live from Parkland with their story. Frances? Hey, Lauren Elliott, this story really goes to show that no matter the language, the pain and the heartbreak is universal. Peter Wong's family knew he was brave, but in the end, more so than they even knew. In this Parkland home, a room full of photos, memories, awards honoring Peter Wong, a hero. On this plaque, written, Fen Bu Gu Shen She Ji Jiu Ren, meaning, sacrificing oneself to save others. This room is where Peter's mom, Hui, has gone every single day since February 14, 2018. She sits in silence. She cries. She looks around full of longing. Maybe I lie to myself, she says. Maybe it feels like I'm still with him. She's thought about moving or just putting his stuff away. But I can't let it go. This is the room he loved. This is the house he loved. If I put it away, I won't think about him? That's impossible. This pain is forever. Peter attended Marjorie Stoneman Douglas just so he could be a part of their junior ROTC program. This proud Chinese-American boy dreamed of serving his country. And he served selflessly, holding the door open during the mass shooting at a school so others could escape. He did something heroic, but people are quick to forget, Hoy said. As his mother, I'll never forget. In my heart, I feel guilty. Why did I raise him to be this honorable? But I would raise him this way again. This is my selfish thinking as a heartbroken mother. Sometimes it hurts so much. I want to leave to be with him, she said. I don't understand why God has been so unfair. I still can't face it. I'm still in disbelief. The first year or two maybe feels like it wasn't as painful because the longer I don't see him, the more I have to accept this truth. He was only 15 years old. I found all of his plans for his future in his drawer, his sophomore year, his junior year, what college he dreamed of going to. He had his life planned out through his 20s. Peter's dream school, the U.S. Military Academy at West Point, posthumously admitted him into the class of 2025, the day after he was buried in his uniform. Peter would have started college this year. And another reason Peter's mom keeps everything as is to remind his two younger brothers to live as honorably and brave as Peter did. Live tonight in Parkland, I'm Francis Wang, CBS 4 News.